Today we're going to be creating what is probably the most complex lighting circuit that you're going to want to have in a small or solo base. Um, in order to do this um, we're going to need a solar panel, a small battery, a branch, a blocker, a splitter, three HBHF sensors and three ceiling lights. Um, what we're going to be doing is creating lighting that actually follows you from room to room. So as you go from here to there, um, the lights will turn off and turn on uh, appropriately. Um, first of all, I'm going to place the solar panel, battery, branch, blocker and splitter. So up on the roof. Point the solar panel to the north. I'm just going to put the battery on the floor. You don't need to have such a large amount of space between these components, but I think it'll just help with seeing what's going on. Um, first of all, we're going to connect the power out on the battery. To the power input on the branch. And then the branch out is going to connect to the blocker block pass through. So that's the left hand side. And then the power out right hand side is going to connect to the input on the battery. The power output on the battery is going to connect to the power input on the blocker and then the blocker power out is going to connect to the power in on the splitter. So, just to briefly recap, the solar panel is going into the branch. The branch is splitting its power between the blocker and the battery, with the majority of the power going into the battery. The battery is then going back to the blocker, and then the blocker is connected to the splitter. While the solar panel is running, this small amount of power that comes through here, too, blocks the electric pass-through at, block pa at the blocker. Now we're going to place our three HBHF sensors and our lights. So I'm just going to put these on the wall. well probably help okay from the the splitter has three outputs coincidentally we have three lights if you want to do this with more lights then you're probably going to need more power, a bigger battery and you'll need to use either multiple splitters or branches. Anyway, for what we're doing here, um, we're going to connect the three outputs to the three splitters.
This one's got some distance to travel. And then power output from the HBHF sensor. So for all of these, we need to connect the HVHF to the light. Okay, that's done. That is everything connected up. Um, what you need to do now is, um, well, wait for darkness. What you can do if you want to test this is disconnect the block pass through. And you'll know it's working because that irritating buzzing will, uh, will turn on. So that's that light on and that one. So it looks like they're all working. All we have to do now is redo the block passer and wait for night to come. Right, so as you can see now, it's now night and the light in the room I'm in is on. When I move to the next room, that light goes off. And if we head outside, If you found this video helpful then feel free to hit that like button so that I know. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments then feel free to put those down in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Otherwise subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.